Hello YouTube, I am back. I didn't think I would be back, but I am back and uh, we're starting a new project. Uh, I'm hoping to do a open world RPG and here I have already set a new project. This is just a bare bones project that we are going to be working on. Um, this is what I have so far. You might remember this or you might recognize this. This is the starting point of any project, I suppose. Um, what I've done is I have downloaded this locomotion system type of controller, if you can call it like that. So what it does, it's super simple. I suppose it's super simple, maybe it's not. Uh, we have this walking, but for now I have super low sensitivity and in here I don't see a option to set it up. So we're going to code it really quickly uh it's been a really long time since i have not done any coding so here we go i'll give it a shot and uh, yeah we're, we're coding on a mac so this should be good it's really fast it's really nice if you don't have visual studio code then you should go get it i don't know what you're doing with your life <laughs> uh but in order to add some uh sort of mouse acceleration or something like that we can add in a header in here in the header we can say mouse look sensitivity so usually a mouse can move up or sideways which means it is a vector too so we're just going to public vector to that mouse sensitivity and it already gives us some some stuff uh so now that we have that let's just quickly save that go back into our unity up here and we should have some kind of new field in here mouse sensitivity so obviously it doesn't do anything right now because we have not hooked it up yet so what we're going to do is just we're simply just going to take this look sensitivity and look for where we apply that. So usually we have a on look which triggers this function in here. So all we have to do is just times mouse look sensitivity and it should be done and working. Uh, so if we click play, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's much better, you see. And now if we bring this back to one, yeah, I have next to no sensitivity. You can hear my mouse. <laughs> uh, so since this is the first video, I don't want to bore you. I don't want to go into much detail, but what I did add really quickly is a terrain. And inside the terrain, I added this kind of procedural thing. Uh, we're going to discuss this obviously in great detail in future videos because obviously we're going to make this game more than just this map right here, which is quite good, don't get me wrong, but you know, we want a world. Uh, so what it does, it, it creates some kind of a random. It's really random, it's not purling or anything. I think uh, we have to play with the values so we can have mountains and valleys and lakes and so on. Uh, but for now, this works and uh, we can give it a shot. And see. We have a procedurally generated world. It's really good. It's really nice. Uh, we can demonstrate that it is actually working by just, you know, deleting this, creating a 3D object of terrain. And then we can just add in the script that we created, procedural terrain, which is right here. And we can play with the values later on. I think I'm just going to bump the scale a little lower. And let's see if that works. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Look at that. That is so much better. I can't really see because of this fog, but it looks better all, already. So let's move it a little lower and let's try to walk into it. In fact, we can just turn this off and let's see. We should fall into the world 
And then we should be able to walk around. Oh yeah. So now we have some kind of valleys and so on and so forth. Uh, can end this video here. It's a super short video. Uh, and uh, we'll see you in the second video, which should be coming out shortly. Thank you.